My name is uh, Jim Wachowski, and I'm doing on History Club members and Constitution Wall. In 1985, I took a group of students to a United Nations conference um, in the United Nations building in New York City. Uh, right after that, we started taking students to uh, New York City, Boston, Washington, D.C. for educational field trips. And that's the early beginnings of what we now call History Club. Uh, History Club uh, has done a lot of projects over the years. Uh, we've honored our veterans uh, on a yearly basis, and we've also raised a lot of money for local charities, which I'm very proud of. Uh, three major projects um, have been undertaken by History Club uh, members. One project is the uh, 1991 Persian Gulf Memorial, and that is a memorial to those Cory graduates who served in the Persian Gulf War. And it is located at the uh, high school in front of the uh, gymnasium. It's the military flagpoles uh, with the flags flying and the grounds and a bronze plaque. For the dedication ceremony of that project, we brought in Congressman Tom Ridge, who of course later became our governor and the first Homeland Security Secretary. Uh, so we are very proud to have uh, Congressman Ridge here. Our second project is called Our Journey. And Our Journey highlights the uh, background, the heritage, the roots of our students. They were to bring in three or four photos of their family past uh, or present. And we took those photos and made them into black and white. And we put them on, in individual frames and uh, displayed them all on a permanent basis in the administration wing of the um, uh, Corey High School. And it's uh, just one wall of photos that you could literally stay hours and just look and stare at each photo because it brings out their past. So we're real proud of that project. The last project was in uh, 2008. Uh, when Corey Elementary School was under construction, our business manager uh, was on the Wright Street side of the building and he looked at a retaining wall near the playground. And he looked at the wall and came back to school, called me into his office and wanted me to go look at it because I had not seen it. So I went and looked at it and I knew exactly what he was thinking. It looks like the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. I went back to his office and I simply said, we'll take care of things. And thus Constitution Wall was born. Uh, my students uh, sold plaques. Uh, you can have your name on a plaque uh, for $60 and it has your name engraved in marble with all the specifics of uh, your, your service. But it's not just for veterans, past or present. It's also for those who wear the uniform. And by that I mean uh, policemen, firemen, medics, uh, first responders. We even have our uh, first police dog in Corey, Dasty, has a plaque down there. So we're very proud of that. Uh, throughout the years, History Club has been a very, very big part of our community, a very big part of our school. Um, we, through their dues of five dollars, we uh, raised a lot of money, um, had a lot of events for, as I said earlier, charity, and it became it became a very, very important part of our, of our school. Um, and what makes me very proud is the students have always given back to our community.